Today, we're going to be talking about steampunk, a subgenre of science fiction that takes you on a journey through an alternate timeline where technology never surpassed the Victorian era. Here, steam power reigns supreme, and imagination knows no bounds. From the cobblestone streets of London to the far reaches of outer space, steampunk transports you to a world of wonder and possibility. The clink of gears and the hiss of steam fills the air as you step into a world that never was. Anime like Full Metal Alchemist and Last Exile have embraced the steampunk aesthetic, incorporating intricate machinery and Victorian-inspired costumes into their worlds. Even the popular Studio Ghibli film Howl's Moving Castle features elements of steampunk in its fantastical machines and contraptions. With its limitless potential for creative expression, it's no wonder that steampunk has become a beloved genre among anime fans and creators alike. So, without further ado, let's glide down our list of the best steampunk anime ever made. Galaxy Express 999 1979. Galaxy Express 999 is a classic space adventure movie that tells the story of a young boy named Tetsuro who sets out on a journey to gain a mechanical body to exact revenge on the robotic tyrants who killed his mother. He meets a mysterious woman named Mei Tell who offers him a ticket to travel on the Galaxy Express 999, an interstellar transport. Tetsuro agrees, not knowing the adventure that awaits him. The steampunk aspect of the film adds a dark, eerie element to the story making it even more haunting. From the design of the Galaxy Express, which looks like a steam train, to the pirate motifs of the characters, the anachronistic designs make this movie unique. The old school character designs and similar looking female characters may not be to everyone's tastes, but the art and color work has aged surprisingly well. The movie is a classic space opera with classic themes, speeches, ruthless villains, extraordinary heroes, and epic battles. But the exploration of the theme of Tetsuro's ironic desire to become a machine to achieve vengeance on the machines is what makes it stand out. Trigun 1998 Trigun is a late 90s anime that follows the journey of the legendary gunslinger Vash the Stampede. With a bounty of $60 billion on his head and the Bernadelli Insurance Society's attempts to track him down, the show's steampunk aesthetic adds depth to the stories and highlights the exaggerated character designs that fit the world. However, the over-reliance on guns and bullets can reduce the gravity of tense situations. As the story progresses, it becomes clear that Vash is more than just a simple outlaw, and his avoidance of killing his enemies becomes central to the show's primary story. Vash's past and the reasons for his preservation of life are explored extensively. The show's comedic duo of Meryl and Millie bring levity to the show, but lack purpose as the show grows more serious. The priest, Nicholas D. Wolfwood, appears as a more complex and action-oriented character, marking an improvement in the show. While the animation varies from episode to episode, the show's ability to maintain its dark atmosphere while including the steampunk aspect adds depth to the stories. Trigun's episodic nature may make it slow to get into at first, but as the story progresses, it becomes darker and more focused on Vash's moral dilemmas. The show attempts to drum up questions regarding Vash's actions and motives, and the lengths he will go to to uphold his ideals. The show's primary focus is less on the actual progression of the plot and more on the moral dilemmas associated with Vash's lifestyle. Despite its flaws, Trigun's steampunk aesthetic makes its dark stories even more intense, and its ability to keep the audience engaged through its unique approach makes it a must-watch for anime fans. Steam Boy 2004 Steam Boy isn't just any animated adventure, it's a mesmerizing steampunk epic from the mastermind behind Akira. Katsuhiro Otomo's masterpiece transports us to a reimagined Victorian England, where an unwieldy steam ball holds the power to change manufacturing history forever. The film follows the journey of 13-year-old James Ray Steam as he confronts moving steam castles, giant robots, and the 1851 Great Exhibition to save London from destruction. Otomo's steampunk vision creates a world that is both breathtaking and terrifying. The sheer magnitude of metal innovation creates a sense of horror, with each knob and button adding to the terror. The film's generous color scheme is in stark contrast to the magical fantasy of Howl's Moving Castle, released in the same year. Otomo's emphasis on engineering and the role of humans in shaping world history adds a layer of dark realism to the story. The stunning visuals of Steam Boy are enhanced by Otomo's stereoscopic vision and camera work. The deep depth of field and added CG components create an effect that is both natural and impressive, contributing to the live-action feel of the film. Steve Jablonski's score adds to the steampunk saga, swelling and trumpeting and elevating the film to a cinematic masterpiece. 
Cabaneri of the Iron Fortress, 2016. Cabaneri of the Iron Fortress is a thrilling tale of survival and hope in a world overrun by zombies. The show is set in an alternate version of 19th century Japan, where humanity is on the brink of extinction due to the Kabane, a ruthless zombie horde. The only way for people to move between settlements and stay safe is by riding massive armored trains that act as mobile fortresses. In the midst of this chaos, we meet Ikomo, a brilliant mechanic who becomes a Kabaneri, a human Kabane hybrid. Together with Merme, another Another Kabaneri, they embark on a dangerous journey to save humanity from the Kabane threat and uncover the truth behind their existence. The trains themselves are marvels of steampunk engineering, with gears, cogs, and steam-powered engines powering them across the wasteland. The characters are outfitted in stunning steampunk-inspired outfits, complete with goggles, leather straps, and intricate brass fittings. Despite its flaws, this is a thrilling and engaging show that showcases the best of both the zombie and steampunk genres. The world is expertly crafted, with every detail thought out to perfection, from the terrifying Kabane to the awe-inspiring trains. Bakano 2007 Bakano is a twisted and complex anime that takes place in the 1930s, a time when technology and society were rapidly changing. The story revolves around the events that unfold on the flying pussyfoot train, and it follows a multitude of storylines that jump back and forth in time, leaving the viewer dazed and confused. Despite the jumbled storytelling, Bakano manages to keep viewers engaged with its well-handled, brutal scenes and impeccable production quality. The anime's aesthetic adds an eerie and dark feeling to the already mysterious storylines, making the viewing experience even more thrilling. The gears, pipes, and machinery that are featured prominently in the anime add a sense of industrial grit and grime, fitting perfectly with the brutal nature of the series. The characters themselves are often depicted wearing intricate and stylish steampunk clothing, adding to the feeling of a world in transition, where the old ways of doing things are giving way to the new. The use of steam-powered technology in the anime is a constant reminder of the society's industrial revolution, which was a time of great upheaval and change. The train itself is a perfect example of this, with its ornate designs and grandeur contrasting with the bloody and violent events that take place within its walls. Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water, 1990 Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water is an anime that takes the audience on a mesmerizing journey through a world that is both enchanting and menacing. The aesthetic creates an intricate world of science and technology that is truly awe-inspiring. The machines and contraptions are exquisitely crafted, but their potential for destruction is palpable, exploring the complexities of human morality and showcasing the dangers of unchecked scientific progress. The characters are equally complex, with with unique backstories that add depth and complexity to their motives and personalities. Nadia's haunting character and Jean's determination to uncover the secrets of the Nautilus and the Blue Water Gem make for a captivating and emotional journey. The show's take on Atlantis adds a darker element to the tale, with the Neo-Atlantean's quest for power creating a sense of urgency and danger. The world of Nadia adds an extra layer of complexity to the characters, making them even more fascinating and relatable. The narrative makes for a thought-provoking and unforgettable journey, blending adventure, science fiction, and mystery into a beautiful cinematic experience. Full Metal Alchemist and Brotherhood 2003 and 2009 Full Metal Alchemist is an anime that weaves together a captivating storyline and intricate characters. The series is set in a world that closely resembles early 20th century Germany, where alchemy has replaced science in various aspects of life. The story follows two brothers, Ed and Al Elric, who attempt to bring their mother back to life using forbidden alchemy, resulting in catastrophic consequences. The gas lamps, steam-powered carriages, and intricate clockwork devices give the series a retro-futuristic feel, highlighting the fragility of the world. The villains in Full Metal Alchemist are portrayed as corrupt alchemists and mad scientists who use their knowledge to create twisted abominations and commit unspeakable atrocities. The machinery and technology they use are both beautiful and terrifying, hinting at the horrors they are capable of creating. The show's heroes are no less complex, with traumatic backstories that often tarnish their relationships with other good-hearted characters. One of the most fascinating characters in Full Metal Alchemist is Scar, who is introduced as a villain trying to destroy Ed and Al. However, as we learn more about his motivations and backstory, the lines between good and evil begin to blur. Scar's character arc explores the consequences of seeking revenge, the nature of redemption, and the importance of forgiveness. Scar's storyline adds to the depth of the character, highlighting the dangers of a world in which science and technology can be used for evil purposes. 
Castle in the Sky, 1986. In 1986, Studio Ghibli released their first animated movie, Castle in the Sky, inspired by Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. Set in an alternate version of the 19th century, the movie centers around the search for Laputa, a floating city that dominated human prehistory with its planet-wide empire. Imbued with immense powers, certain jewels from Laputa, like the one worn by the protagonist Shida, became the key to discovering the city's secrets. Young miner Pazu, who comes across Shida, wants to prove his father's legacy by finding Laputa. The story takes the viewers on a beautifully animated adventure with airborne pirates and mysterious government organizations, filled with mystery and endearing characters. It's underpinned by a musical score by Joe Hisaishi, which blends synth and orchestral instrumentation, perfectly reflecting the clash of modern steam power technology with ancient technology from Laputa. The movie is a perfect representation of the genre's melding of Victorian aesthetics with fantastical and futuristic elements. The airships that soar through the clouds, powered by steam engines, and the beautiful city of Laputa floating high above the earth are marvels of the genre. In the same vein, the ancient technology that powers Laputa is a wondrous feat of steampunk ingenuity. The city's architecture and advanced machinery are captivating, as are the Laputan robots powered by blue gems. The blue gem, which Sheeta wears, adds an essential magical element to the story, acting as a catalyst to uncover Laputa's secrets. Last Exile, 2003. Last Exile is a tale of war, mystery, and adventure set in a world of floating airships and sky pirates. The story takes place in a time of conflict between the kingdoms of Dusus and Anator, overseen by a mysterious organization known as the Guild. Against this backdrop, two orphans, Klaus Valka and Lavi Head, who inherited their father's vanship, are forced to take on a job that thrusts them into the middle of the war. They soon find themselves responsible for a young girl who holds a secret that could change the course of the war. As they navigate the dangerous and unpredictable world of the skies, they uncover a conspiracy that may involve the Guild and their own pasts. The show depicts a fantastical version of the Industrial Revolution, where advanced technology coexists with a society reminiscent of the Victorian era. The airships are the primary mode of transportation, and come in all shapes and sizes, from small personal vanships to massive warships. The intricate and detailed designs of these flying machines are a testament to the show's visual appeal, as are the lavish costumes and architecture. The technology depicted in the show may not be entirely plausible, but it is easy to get swept up in the grandeur and majesty of this alternate world. The show's use of CGI to illustrate the movement of airships is still impressive even years later. Violet Evergarden 2018 Kyoto Animation's Violet Evergarden is a stunning 13-episode series with a heart-wrenching story set in a world inspired by early 20th century Europe. The aftermath of the Great War has left the society partly broken, and people are struggling to rebuild themselves. The majority of the population is illiterate and requires the assistance of auto-memory dolls to express their emotions on paper. Violet, the titular character, is a veteran of the war, feared by both allies and enemies, and her extensive prosthetic arms are her reminder of the cost of war. She works as an auto-memory doll at a letter penning and delivery company. The plot is divided into three major plot threads. Violet's search for her commanding officer, her acceptance of her humanity and emotions, and the weekly emotional story of the clients she serves. The use of technology like prosthetic limbs and telephones in a world that still relies heavily on handwritten letters and horse-drawn carriages is reminiscent of the Victorian era. The auto-memory dolls themselves are also a marvel of technology, with their intricate designs and mechanism. The doll's typewriter-like keyboard and pen interface, and the various machines machines that the company uses for its operations gives a glimpse into the steampunk world. The series also features several military technologies like tanks and airships that have been given a unique design that blends them into the steampunk setting. Despite the darker tones of the series, the aesthetic gave it a charming and whimsical atmosphere that is captivating to watch. Conclusion Steampunk has become an integral part of the anime genre, allowing creators to blend the past, present, and future in unique and fascinating ways. Fans of this amazing genre should definitely give our list a go. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and have a marvelous day.